Learning more tonight about the recovery of Michelle Kwan's car. Tonight, we're hearing from the man who says he found the Prius in North Providence last night. It disappeared weeks ago after Kwan's husband, gubernatorial candidate Clay Pell, left the keys inside. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner is live in North Providence with the new details tonight. Hi there, Kelly. Yeah, the latest twist in a bizarre story at the center of it all, a gubernatorial candidate and his famous wife's hybrid car, a car so talked about, it has its own Twitter page. And this is it. Michelle Kwan's Toyota Prius reported stolen in late February, found Thursday night a month later behind this North Providence apartment building next door to Italian eatery Il Fornello on Josephine Street. Mark Pollitt is the apartment complex tenant mentioned in the police report obtained by Eyewitness News. He spotted the Prius behind his unit. I noticed the computer monitor first, and then I looked at the, you know, damage, and you could see the window was smashed out. A Dell computer monitor found on the asphalt next to the car. Pollitt originally told officers the Prius belonged to an Asian woman who lives in the complex. I thought it was a girl next door's car. Pollitt now admits he was mistaken. Kwan and husband Clay Pell, grandson of the late Senator Claiborne Pell, and declared Democratic contender for Rhode Island governor, told police the Prius had been taken from their East Side Providence home. The couple said Pell had dropped the keys between the vehicle seat, but was running late for a function, so he just left, leaving the unlocked car out front. As it turned out, they later claimed with a prized hockey stick inside, signed by Wayne Gretzky. Mark Pollitt shocked that the most talked about car in Rhode Island was on his doorstep. It struck me left field. And this isn't the first time the car has gone unaccounted for. Back in December, records show Clay Pell actually called police telling them the car had gone missing, only to call back minutes later saying he had simply forgotten where he had parked it the night previous. As for today, a towing company took Quan's car to an auto yard in Providence, presumably to be picked up. Live in North Providence tonight with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.